Well, hello everybody, and how's it going? Uh, we're back after a short delay, but we're back nonetheless. Uh, I'm gonna do a quick video about peppers, how to prepare them. That's kind of like a mm, a pre video for this other one I'm gonna do. Well, it's all the same thing, but you'll see. Let's carry on. So, right here I got some Serrano peppers. These are some of the hotter peppers you can buy at your local grocery store. Uh, in terms of heat, you'd probably go, well, probably can't consider this a spicy pepper, but you'd go bell pepper, maybe jalapeno, or sweet peppers, poblano, and then maybe jalapeno, like I said, uh, so bell pepper, poblano, jalapeno, then maybe serrano in terms of heat. So serrano is quite a spicy pepper. It's got plenty of seeds and uh, veins. And a lot of people don't know how to properly uh, clean them for maybe a less heat or just a cleaner preparation. So yeah, let's get on that. And I took a few days off to adjust my like lighting and it didn't really help. <laughs> but I found this little tripod which seems to be working so let's get on with it. I'm going to start by you know, washing the peppers. You can get like a solution and thoroughly clean them. And rinse thoroughly in the top. And I suppose just in order of operations, I should show you the less spicy one first and then move on to the the more the more peppery ones. Oh, excuse me. Let's see if we can get a oh. whoa. <laughs> That should do it. So here's your standard bell pepper or sweet bell pepper, chile, I forget what it's called right at this moment. But anyways, most people, I don't know, you might have an inclination to cut the top off and then go at it that way. But um, I suggest you can just kind of set the pepper down straight and get uh, the sharpest knife you can. This knife's not too sharp, but just kind of gently glide. Once you make that first cut, you can go right here. Just about right there. Trying to avoid that pocket of seeds as best as you can. Turn. Again, you see another area exposed here. We're going to Cut that down. And as you can see, there's a little bit of seeds in both these little things. What we're going to do here is just pry that out with our fingers. Clean hands, of course. What we're left with is this little bottom part. We can keep that. And we're left with the top mm, nearly clean. You can go ahead and trim off some of that edge if you want. You can cut it off completely. Well, why talk about it? Let me just demonstrate it for you. So, put those things aside. So. And this is what I'm referring to. You're left with this cap. And you're thinking, well, it's trash. Well, yeah, it can be. But everything of the pepper is edible. So, as I said, you just cut it pop it off and then you're left with this you know extra piece of pepper here and of course I missed that little edge but you get the gist we're gonna get all these remains and just discard them as best we can for the moment like I said ladies and gentlemen excuse the roughness and uh, I, feel, I feel a little rusty after, uh, in front of the camera after a few days of not being there So with these peppers, I suggest you just pat the seeds out into your hand or over a garbage can as I normally do, but for the sake of uh, demonstration purposes, I'm doing it in my hand, collecting all the seeds. And I am going about this rather slow-like, but don't do this again, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, I'm just being crazy here. Don't, <laughs> don't rub your hand against, don't rub your knife against your hand like that. So after we have our pieces of pepper, we can go one step further and gently, gently glide your knife 
just under that white vein, placenta, whatever you want to call them. But just for added presentation, cleanness, I hope you guys can see that. We're just going to remove some of these extra little bits on the pepper. You see this part right here? We're going to basically cut right underneath it and gently but thoroughly glider knife through and across. And again, for the other side, as best as you can, trying to do minimal waste as possible. We did go through the extra effort of preserving. Uh, the pepper without the without the seeds so after this you can make them into big dices as I'll show you like so turn it over one two three four five exactly how you cut these or how big you cut them is not a factor what matters is cutting them uniformly throughout so if you're going to cut them like this just do them all like this do the whole thing like that alternatively you can, you know, you can get rid of this excess here and save that for other pieces. You can straighten this out as best you can and, you know, make them little strips here. Alternatively, you can get these little strips, turn them over one side. <laughs> I realize I'm moving around a lot, but... As I said, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not exactly the best here at filming, but there's your small dice. So, we got a big chunk. From the big chunk, we got the slivers. And from the slivers, we have the, the small dice. So, it's easy, you know? Get, over, get rid of all this pepper off to the side for a sec. Right, so I'm just gonna transfer it to my trusting cutting board. Skew the rawness of this, ladies and gentlemen. Well, this is, eh, for the most part, for demonstration purposes. And Let's get on with the belt, uh, with the serrano. So you saw there, I just didn't even fuss about it. I just cut the tail off. Why? Well, serranos are plentiful, they're cheap, and they're extremely hot. So a little waste here and there is not going to be the end of the world. So what I'm doing now is going right in half. And you see I didn't do the best job by cutting it in half. But now I'm going to, like a lousy surgeon, I'm gonna go in there, scrape out all those seeds as best as I can. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and cut this way too. I'm just gonna polish that off. Same with this side here, I'm gonna go in. Just remove all those seeds, center veins, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. So you're left with these for the most part. Seedless, extremely spicy. My hands right now, if I touch my face, eyes, mouth, privates, anything sensitive, I'll be in excruciating pain. So make sure to wash your hands thoroughly, and even after that, don't touch your eyes, don't touch your privates and try to do the best to like scrub it off peppers are dangerous and can be painful but it's a part of cooking and uh, no chef I guarantee you almost every chef has experienced uh, rubbing their eyes or worse you know after handling spicy peppers so proceed with caution people I can even feel under my nail right here where it's slightly sensitive starting to tingle from the extreme heat of that pepper so Proceed with caution. Here's a good thing about this flexible cutting board. I can scoop up most of this. Alright. 
So, how do you go about cutting this? Well, I usually like to do this. Small uh, crescents or half moons, whatever you call that. Or alternatively, you can make strips. And out of strips, turn them sideways. And as you've seen before, just go at it extremely fine like. And <laughs> You'll get small minced pepper. Either way, proceed with caution, but keep on cooking. I'll see you guys in the next one.